Hello everyone, welcome to this how to set up your indoor cycling bike tutorial. Today I will explain and show to you in six steps how to easily adjust your bike in order to get the best and most health-oriented indoor cycling experience. This tutorial is perfect for you if you want to ride your bike at home and still need some help in order to set up your bike. The first step is we start from the back and afterwards we will go to the front. We start with the seat and then we care about the handlebars. The second is you use your hips as a guide. The seat should be as high as your hip bones. Stand right next to the saddle and place your hands on your high hip bones in order to get an idea of where the seat should be lined up. And third, try sitting on the bike. Clip into the pedals and bring one pedal to the bottom of the pedal stroke. You'll want a relatively full extension with a slight soft bend at the knee. If you hyperextend the knee, it's an indication that you need to lower the seat. If the knee is too bent and you are not getting that fuller extension, you need to lift the seat a little higher. Fourth, find the power position. The saddle slides back and forth and that position is determined by the angle of your knees and where they fall over the paddles. You want your knees to be over the ball of your foot. Start with the saddle in a neutral position. Check your saddle. Most of the time you can find numbers written on it. The zero usually indicates the neutral position. Then get your body into riding position, which means your hips are back and your head aligned with your spine. And bring one pedal directly in front of the other so that the cranks of the bike are even with each other. Whichever foot is in the front, check to see where the knees fall. If the knee goes too far forward over the toes, slide the seat back. If the knee is at 90 degree angle and falls over or behind the ankle, slide forward. We come to fifth. Now we are going to raise the bar. The handlebars are somewhat subjective. An avid auto cyclist may prefer the handlebars quite low, while the most riders are comfortable or more comfortable with a bar at seat height or higher. If you have back or shoulder issues, it's recommended that the handlebars be up a little higher. Now we come to six, the last checks before getting started. The handlebars also slide back and forth on some bikes. Again, start at a neutral position, which will also be indicated somewhere. Riders should be able to comfortably grip handlebars without reaching for them, while keeping their shoulders drawn back away from the ears and soft bended elbows. Always have a light grip on the bars and let the legs hold the body weight. Check that your knees don't hit or come uncomfortably close to the bars as well. Thank you so much for joining this tutorial. If you still have some problems setting up your bike or you need some recommendations for the perfect indoor cycling bike for you, just contact me and I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for joining the Cycling Sofa community where indoor cycling is at home. Bye bye.